Welcome to our service for Remembrance Sunday here in the North Beltislow group of parishes. We are here to worship Almighty God, whose purposes are good, whose power sustains the world he has made, who loves us even when we have failed in his service, who gave Jesus Christ for the life of the world, who by his Holy Spirit leads us in his way. As we give thanks for his great works, we remember those who have lived and died in his service and in the service of others. We pray for all who suffer through war and are in need. We ask for his help and blessing that we may do his will and that the whole world may acknowledge him as Lord and King. Let us confess to God the sins and shortcomings of the world, its pride, its selfishness, its greed, its evil divisions and hatreds. Let us confess our share in what is wrong and our failure to seek and establish that peace which God wills for his children. We say together, Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Bible reading comes from St Matthew's Gospel in chapter 5. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This is the word of the Lord. We now move to our prayers. Let us pray for the peace of the world for leaders and rulers, that they may have the wisdom to know and the courage to do what is right. For all who work to improve international relationships, that they may find the true way to reconcile people of different race, colour and creed. For men and women the world over, that they may have justice and freedom and live in security and peace. Lord, in your mercy, 
Hear our prayer. Most gracious God and Father, in whose will is our peace, turn our hearts and the hearts of all your people to yourself, that by the power of your Spirit, the peace which is founded on righteousness may be established throughout the world. Amen. Let us pray for all who suffer as the result of war, for the injured and disabled, for the mentally distressed, and for those whose faith in God and in humanity has been weakened or destroyed, for the homeless and refugees, for those who are hungry, for all who have lost their livelihood and security, for those who mourn their dead, those who have lost husband or wife, child or parent, and especially for those who have no hope in God to sustain them in their grief. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, infinite in wisdom, love and power, have compassion on those for whom we pray and help us to use all suffering in the cause of your kingdom through him who gave himself for us on the cross, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We close our prayers by saying together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for their country in war, those whom we knew and whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of humanity. The Fallen of Ropsley in the Great War Robert Waterfield Abbott, Thorpe Atkinson, John Thomas Barber, Albert B, John Thomas Briggs, Robert William Brothwell, George Cambridge, Percival H. E. Chantry, Ernest Henry Chapel, Arthur Dean, John Doughty, Harry Dunmore, George Edward Freestone, John William Haynes, George William Hare, Joseph Hind, Walter Hodson, James Kent, Cyril Joseph Kitchen, Hugh Lloyd, Joseph Lloyd, Harry Morley, William Peatman, Albert Henry Tyndall, Charles Henry Willows, Francis T. Watmo, The Fallen of Ropsley in the Second World War, Norman Abbott, Gerald Christopher Brewer, Kenneth George Corton, Joseph Leslie Crow, William Philip Dales, Wilfred Marlowe, Nelson Robotton, 
Kenneth Smith, Cyril Wright. The Fallen of Lenton in the Great War. Christopher Baxter, William Bottomley, Harold Brompton, Thomas Henry Collin, Edward Green, Joseph Thomas Ibbett, George Henry Rudkin, The Fallen of Inglesby in the Great War. Ernest Exton, Ernest Flower, Albert Claude Matzel, Thomas Alfred Parker, Joseph Porter, Arthur Edgar Simpson, Victor Hugh Simpson, Horace Edward Steele. The Fallen of Old Summerby in the Great War. Reuben Alfred Eyre. James Amos Dobney. John Edward Morley. Leonard Pick. George Robert Ramsden. Joseph Jackson Ramsden. William Burton Stoddart. John West Walker. The Fallen of Old Summerby in the Second World War, Eric Durham, George Paxton Moody, Frank West, Kenneth Smith, Jacobus Gustav Strauss, John Edward Curtin. The Fallen of Braceby in the Great War, John Chevens, Frederick Chevens. The Fallen of Braceby in the Second World War, David Chevens. The Fallen of Sapperton in the Great War, Cyril Rudkin. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Almighty and eternal God, 
from whose love in Christ we cannot be parted, either by death or life. Hear our prayers and thanksgivings for all whom we remember this day. Fulfil in them the purpose of your love and bring us all with them to your eternal joy. Amen. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. Let us commit ourselves to responsible living and faithful service. Will you strive for all that makes for peace? We will. Will you seek to heal the wounds of war? We will. Will you work for a just future for all humanity? We will. We commit ourselves to work for reconciliation between the nations, that all people may, together, live in freedom, justice and peace. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives, in world wars and conflicts past and present, have been taken away. Amen. We have come to the high altar for the final blessing and you'll see here on the altar beside me the many candles that were lit on All Souls Eve as we remember our loved ones in this season of remembering as well as those whom we honour and remember who have died in war. God grants to the living grace to the departed rest, to the Church, the Queen, the Commonwealth and all people, unity, peace and concord, and to us and all God's servants, everlasting life, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be with us and remain with us, this day and always. Amen.